Shalom everyone! Welcome back to another virtual Sunday School service. Today's lesson is about the importance of work and how God designed us for it. Let's read the summary. When we are good workers. Have you ever complained when your parents ask you to take out the garbage, pick up your clothes, or clean your room? Most of us have complained at some time about having to work. Where did work come from anyway? From the beginning of creation, God designed us to work. He made us intelligent, healthy, and active. God knew we would need to keep our minds and our bodies busy, or we would be bored and unhappy. So God gave us work to do. God gave Adam the world's first job. Adam was to take care of the Garden of Eden. God knew that Adam needed a job in order to be productive. Work gives us a way to provide things we need, such as food and clothing and a home. Work makes us tired so we sleep well. Doing our work gives us a feeling of satisfaction. God gave us an example of a good worker, the ant. The ant, although very small, works hard. It knows to gather food during the summer to prepare for the winter. It does not put off work until later. It doesn't say, Oh, well it's such a nice summer day. Maybe I'll just take time off to play until the weather is too bad to have fun. The ant stays busy doing the work that needs to be done. A lazy person relies on others to take care of him while he does nothing. God wants us to work not only to benefit ourselves, but to be an example for others to follow. God wants his children to work willingly. That means we work because we want to please God. When we do our work as a service to God, we feel happy. Are you done reading the summary? God designed us to work. God wants us to work not just for ourselves, but for others as well. He already blessed you with wisdom and talent, so why not use them? So the next time your parents ask you to do chores, don't complain. Just do the work as God has called us to do. Now let's work hard on the activities. Let's start on the first activity for this week. God's design. Put the first letter of each picture on the line below it to finish the sentence. God designed us to... W... O... You do the rest. Are you done with the first section? Let's move on to the second one. Work benefits. Choose words from the list to complete statements one, two, and three. You will discover some of the benefits of work. Write your own ideas to answer questions four and five. Fill in these words in these three blank spaces. Let's do the first one together. Number one. Work gives us a feeling of accomplishment. Do the same for the second and the third one. For the fourth and the fifth one, find your own answers. I'll give you some time to do this. Are you done with the first activity? Let's move on to the second one. Chore match. Draw a line from the child to his or her work. Which one of these activities match these people's work? This one goes with this one. Do the same for the rest of them. Now let's move on to the second section. Willing workers. Look. Look at the examples above. Think about the kinds of work you can do. List three jobs you will willingly do this week. What work will you do this week? Here's the last activity. 
caution. Ants at work. Ants are wise workers. They do what needs to be done to store food in the summer so they will live through the winter. Help these ants find their way through the workrooms to the storeroom with their heavy loads to complete their work. Guide these ants to the storage room. That's it for this week, guys. Don't forget to remember your memory verse from Colossians 3, verse 23. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. Thank you. God bless you.